Suddenly, it was like everyone was just coming out of the woodwork. I was sick. I was sick of you. I was sick of everything that was going on around you. I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. Diddy, you are going to prison. Honey, Cassie has bought the receipts on Diddy, honey, and she's suing him for the things that he's done to her. TikTok Diddy crazy. tried to stop the bleeding by settling with Cassie just a day after she filed. His lawyer said it was not an admission of wrongdoing, but the damage was done. Yeah, it's Diddy's not. Most this is true. Egregious but the video and fatal is fatal error strategically was not settling with Cassie behind closed doors. I agree. If he settles with Cassie behind closed doors, there's a good chance that none of this controversy is happening. There's a good chance that other people wouldn't have their own lawsuits pile on. There's a good chance law enforcement wouldn't have had their radars activated by all the allegations of illegal activity. There's a chance that Diddy would just be living his normal billionaire life right now. What more do I have to do, man? Look at my hat, man. Look at my hat, look how I show up on the Look how I show up on the Amalfi Coast, B. It looked like she put so much information out into the streets that embarrassed you that you didn't want any more of it to come out. And because of that, Diddy looks more guilty than he did had he just settled behind closed doors from the... Yeah, and if you guys read the actual complaint, man, it reads like a movie script. It's crazy how they wrote everything, how they had the trigger warning at the beginning. It's like you're about to watch a movie. And it was very intentional the way that they did that because they wanted to paint this picture and Diddy ended up paying in more ways than one. In the beginning. If she said that he did it, he did it. Have you, did you read what, it, did you read the things that he, that he did to her? He did it going to jail. <laughs> you going to jail? Yeah, he going to jail. Going to jail. When the lawsuit happened, it started a domino effect, but also what was said in the lawsuit was really the part that took people by surprise because of the rape allegations, of the sex trafficking allegations, of the abuse that she went into detail about. It was very much like, oh, this is definitely the one that's going to shake the table and shake its foundation. Suddenly, it was like everyone was just coming out of the woodwork. I was sick. I was sick of you. I was sick of everything that was going on around Oh, he's talking about Roger. Okay. I was Roger. sick of okay. having to cover up everything that you did. When Cassie found the strength to use her voice and speak her truth. Put him out just yet. Diddy. And just Diddy kept three sex workers on a monthly retainer. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did this security guard say? Let me go back of the rape allegations, of the sex trafficking allegations, of the abuse that she went into detail about, it was very much like, oh, this is definitely the one that's going to shake the table and shake its foundation. Suddenly, it was like everyone was just coming out of the woodwork. I was sick. I was sick of you. I was sick of everything that was going on around you. I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. Whoa! What? Oh, man. He said I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. All right. I know we got a couple lawyers and attorneys in here. Uh, We got to talk about that. That cannot be good. Him saying that he covered up. <laughs> he covered up stuff. <laughs> that did he did. Why would you say that? That he did, too. He did it going to jail. Come on, man. Yeah, he going to jail. When the lawsuit happened, it started a domino effect. Why would you but say also that? What was said in the lawsuit was really the part that took people by surprise because of the rape allegations. They need to take some of y'all's phones away. Uh Javier LaFleur says he'll be OK. He'll be a witness in the case. I guarantee it. Yeah. So I don't know if maybe he's just trying to cover his bases like they were going with the whole. Uh, powerless narrative that we talked about to the streets that embarrassed you that you didn't want any more of it to come out that's and because crazy of man that, did he looks more guilty than he did had he just settled behind closed doors from the beginning if she said that he did it, he did it. have you did you read what it, did you read the things that he that he did to her he did it going to jail yeah he going to jail when the lawsuit happened it <laughs> that man looked upset effect, he looked like he was about to cry what was said in the lawsuit was really the part that took people by surprise because of the rape allegations of the sex trafficking allegations uh we might have to reload this page Hold on let me see if i can skip forward 
you. I was sick of everything that was going on go. around you. I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. When Cassie found the strength on, to use her voice and speak her truth, it gave other people the courage to do the same. And I think that's also just kind of how this reckoning came to be. If one person has a power and has the ability to be honest and say, tell their story, then it allows other people to do the same. In fact, at least three other women came forward and filed lawsuits. Joy Dickerson Neal claimed Diddy drugged and sexually get, do assaulted the same, her like, get 33 paid. years ago and secretly recorded the encounter and then shared it with others. Liza Gardner claimed Diddy raped her and a friend in 1990. Mm. And another woman who refused to be named claimed Diddy and two other men gang raped her when she was just 17. Diddy is now facing another very serious lawsuit. Um, and, you know, this all started with the Cassie lawsuit. Uh, and then there were two more accusers. An anonymous accuser, as a Jane Doe, filed it in federal court today and her allegation goes back to 2003. It was bad for Diddy. Four women yeah, and April's had come goes back long within further than three that. weeks in November and December 2023. Diddy himself finally released a statement saying, and this is a quote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character. Here goes the money destroy grab statement. my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Diddy's money response grab. to all these lawsuits has been, they're coming after my money. Everybody's an extortionist. Yep. That's not entirely untrue. I mean, everybody connected to him in these lawsuits has made money off of him. They've expected payment from him. But because somebody pays your bills doesn't mean that they're entitled to do harm to you. It doesn't mean that they're entitled to exploit you or abuse you or otherwise mistreat you. So yes, people might That's want true. more money from you, but 